Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Hell Asbury Reviews. This is your boy Deluxe. All right, and today I have Masterpiece Cheetor. Uh, Beast Wars. Rawr. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, I um, got this guy. Uh, pretty good uh, overall, pretty good, but uh, we'll get into that. Uh, first, he comes with, um, I'll get with his guns whenever I uh, transform him to a robot, but um, he comes with uh, two cat faces. And T2R6, I hope I got the whiskers as good as I, as best I can. So you got one looking off to the that way, a little sly right there. Sorry. And you got this guy looking straight up like, surprise! Gotcha! Great paint. Eyes are green. Whiskers are made out of fishing wire or something. Teeth are good. It opens up a jaw like that. Got a good tongue. Paint of is, is, is spectacular on this. Just like most of the masterpieces, the paint's really good on these. So you can take these out. And you can have them, you know, in each one of these. And he also has two faces for the um, robot mode. Nice paint right here, a little Predacon symbol right there. Not Predacon, sorry, Maskable. He's not a Predacon. No. And then another one, almost about the same, they look the same. Because this one's got more of an open mouth. So, there he is. And here he is. So, he's got a little ab crunch going on. So you get in different poses, which is awesome. Um, overall, uh, Cheetor, uh, the, the, the uh, alt mode I think is a little weaker than the robot mode. I like them better in robot mode, but I do like this mode. It's not bad at all. So um, he does have articulation with the head. He can move. I wish he kind of moved up side to side. He does have a, a open his mouth. Um, Kind of wish he could look, you know, they kind of could turn that way. But, anyway, it's got that. Um, this can go all the way around, just about. Um, can go out like this. And it does have a swivel right there. And it does have a bend right there. And the paw goes like this, up and down. And it can, it's on a, it's like on a ball. I didn't get a little bit, not much, but you can twist it like that. So, it's really good. Good range of motion for uh, the legs. And everything. And back here, like I said, it's got that little crunch right there. Got a little hole right there, but it's got the gun storage right here. The back ones will go out like this. Go uh, like that, up like that. Does have a bend for the knees. Go and go like that if you want to. It looks a little wonky. Um, that goes in and out because of transformation. And this one doesn't have a ball joint, so it doesn't have a rocker, but it can go up and down like that. And he's got the toes are painted, which is really good. The paint on you know this, you know the paint on this and the primal are really really good. It's got the cheetah spots. Uh, the tail is. You can, Three places or one, two, two places, so you can get it some dynamic, you know, thing like that. And um, it does show, you know, you can see part of the, um, you know, the legs and everything with the robot mode. But overall, I mean, it, it was like that on the toy too. So you know, you know, I can't say much about it. it was in the cartoon, so the cartoon, no, it wasn't. It was different than that. But anyways, so yeah. There is Cheetor. He's pretty cool. I like that. Um, let me get some. Here he is with Big Bot. Everybody wants to see that. So they scale really good. Yeah, Cheetor and name. So there you go. And here he is with. Um, this is the tenth anniversary. Um, don't I think I, I thought I had a G1? Or no, I'm sorry, not G1 of Beast Wars, 
original of him, but I guess I don't. I may have them up there. I don't know. This is the 10th anniversary one, and this is the classic version one that's kind of, so, you know, there they are. So, they stay pretty, you know. I kind of, I love, I, for some, I don't like this guy, but I like, for some reason, I like this little gimmick. It's got the red eyes. Um, we was talking about this on a stasis lock. I wish they would have gave us, you know, you pop out the eyes, they would have gave us red eyes, maybe, or something like that. Could have popped in, something like that. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so there he is with this one, eh, and this one is pretty cool. I guess all right. Yeah, it's kind of thicker. Okay. And we're back. Here he is. Um, I'll show you the weapons first. Here's his tail gun. Pretty cool. Um, don't really like it. Uh, it doesn't fit really well in the hand. It just sits there. So it's not really that good. But it's got some gold paint right there for the gun. So it's pretty cool. And there's a little blaster. It's got some some pink right here. Oh, there's gold right here. It's painted real well. It's a pretty good gun. I like this gun. If it's all right, it's got that little pulse right there, and it fits in there. So, and here he is. Awesome, awesome. He's got great paint all around him. Gold paint all there. Um, he does have a uh, go through the head. Right there. Um, does swivel from right there. Looks up a little bit and a little bit down. Um, face like that. He's got gold eyes. Pretty good. Uh, it is a. Uh, Light piping, so get into that thing, you know, whatever. Uh, shoulders are can go all the way up here. Um, and this have a little butterfly kind of thing effect, so you can get some good poses out of that. Does have a bicep swivel. Um, can go all the way around like that. That's good. Gold paint right there, which is good. Good elbow bend, it breaks up the sculpt right there, but not bad. Um, the hand, this is all painted gold, looks like. Yeah. The hand does swivel, and it does have a, you can, I think you can, yeah, you can move it, you know, inside and out. Uh, fingers all are on, looks like one pin, yeah. One pin, but this one looks kind of kind of moving like a you know pistol, so I can hold a pistol and stuff. That's pretty cool. Does have a waist swivel. That's good. Uh, painted eyes right here for the for the line, for the cheater cheetor orange. All this is painted. It's really good. I like that. And then arm, same arm like that. Uh, that's painted right here. It's really good. You got gold right here. Uh, you can go all the way up. Uh, mostly a little back because of the legs. Uh, can't do the full Van Dam. Which is good. Knee band all the way up there. This is all painted. Looks like really good. I like that blue. I like the colors on him. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, it does have a uh, kind of a tilt. I guess you can move a little bit, not much because of transformation. And this, you got the little. Oh, sorry, you wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, you can go like this. It's not, not, not that bad, but. And then it's smooth back there. And that's painted right there. That's good. Uh, it does have a good rocker. It's got paint right here also, which is good. And there, there he is. There he is in the back. Yes. It is, uh, you know, it does stay true to what the to toy does and in what the, you know, cartoon did. But I don't know. I wish it, they could have figured out a better way. But it's not bad. I like it. You got paint over there underneath the, for the paws. That's cool. It's awesome. It's just good. It looks really good. I mean, it's a it's a great boss. It's got some good possibility. Um, so yeah, there he is. So here he is with a uh, primal, uh, good size. I think that fits perfect with him. You know, couldn't ask for anything better.
Okay, here he is with the the tenth anniversary, tenth anniversary, and this is a classic version. So, like I said, this one bleh, it's not very good at all. I don't like him, but this one stays pretty, you know, close to what his uh fish wars uh thing. So, I'm mean, I can I can dig that. I like that. I don't know if I got this transformed right or not, but I can't see. I may not have that transformed right. And I apologize. Well, I really like this guy. He is awesome. Um, I don't, I like Primal better. Uh, as far as the transformation, uh, the transformation is not bad on this. Uh, I've done it a couple times now and it's getting a little easier. Um, it is a little hassle to get this little piece right here to clip into his neck because of the, uh, some people are taking off the cheetah, cheetah head and it, you know, it, it does a lot. It leaves a big, you know, gap in there, but it's not really noticeable when you stand them like this. But, um, I, I, I guess I figured a way that I could, you know, get it in there really good so it still have the cheetah head in there um i like the transformation you know it's pretty cool you know not as cool as uh primals like i said i like primals better um overall i like primal better but i, I give this guy nine hell, hell hasbros um he's really a great figure especially in robot mode which he'll stay in and you know i mean just the possibility you know he can you know get on bended knee like b uh, boys to men you know and beg for mercy but you know, it's just you know I, I like it, and it's really good bot. Uh, worth the, the worth the money, definitely. Great paint. Um, it just you know, and it's a great representation of Beast Wars, and I love Beast Wars. Um, I'm on a podcast called Stasis Lock. Um, check us out. We're on every uh, Wednesday, which we recorded tonight. And um, I, I just I didn't grow up with Beast Wars. I kind of was you know Beast Wars was right up when I was out of high school, um, so. I didn't really collect them. I didn't really. I saw them in stores, but I didn't. You know, I just didn't. wasn't into Transformers that time. But um, once I got back into Transformers around 2000, um, I found out. You know, I, you know, I would see these at shows and stuff, and I just started picking them up. And I'm really glad that they uh, started coming out with these uh, masterpieces because they're really, really well built. Uh, the engineering, the transformation, the paint is, is spectacular. So we'll definitely pick this guy up if uh, you like Beast Wars. If you like Cheetor, you know, so, yeah. So I'm going to get on the floor and do some floor time, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Oh, um, I'm back uh, just a little bit before I do floor time. Um, I forgot to say this, this head can look up like that. You can break the sculpt a little bit, you know, a lot, but you can look up a lot. Hope you don't say that. I, I forgot to mention that, you know, with the, with the swivel, but it does have like a hinge where you can move up and everything. Uh, I just want to say that before I, uh, I'm in the middle of transformation. So, yeah, you can do that. Bye. And another thing, I'm back, sorry, forgot about this. You can store the weapons. Um, you have to spread up, spread apart these legs, and you could put, I think, this gun in the back, but it makes it a, a lot bigger uh, backpack. So, I, I just put the, mainly, I'm just going to put this in the box, and he can hold this one. So, yeah. So yeah, I just want to say that also. <laughs> Forget it, right thing. Good figure, great paint, um, awesome possibility. Um, you know, it's a really good figure. Definitely go pick it up. Round two. And in this corner, we have Gator. 20 pounds and 10 pounds of wrinkles, probably. And in this other corner, we have Cheetor. He is not even a pound. And fight! Beast Wars! Rawr! Rawr! You aren't really interested in arguing good games. Rawr! Rawr! You gonna let him get you? You gonna let him get you? Rawr! Rawr! You gonna let him get you? <laughs> you gonna let him get you? No? What do you think of him? You like him? Oh, he sneezed on him? So I guess you like him, huh? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Come here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, much of, a, much of a fight. I think Gator won, don't you think? Yeah, it's a good boy. Anyways, uh, love this guy. Love the MPs. I can't wait for Dinobot. I can't wait for them to hopefully do some more Dino, uh, Beast Wars. 
and I'm friendly. So, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you like the review. Uh, hope, you like, hope you like the four time. As always, hell has bro. Hell transformer. Hell gator. Ten pounds of wrinkles. Looks like an old man. Anyways, uh, nine hell has bros out of ten. Definitely pick this guy up. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up, do all that good stuff. My boy's tired. I'm sorry. Anyways, good night, folks. Hell has bro. Good night, folks.